OneNote Class Notebook Creator is a great tool that teachers can use with their students so that they can give out information via a notebook, a digital notebook, and students can receive digital documents and put them into their own digital notebook. And teachers have access to view their students' work at any time. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how OneNote Class Notebook works as a student. So I've already created a notebook as a teacher, and I'm right now logged into Office 365 as a student. And the first thing the student needs to do when a teacher has created a notebook for them is access it. So in order to access it, after logging into Office 365, they will click on OneDrive. And OneDrive is the area where your personal documents load. But you will see on the left-hand side, this student has a section called Shared With Me. And when you click on Shared With Me, this is where you're going to find any notebooks that a teacher has created. So right up here at the top, we have a notebook that was created by a teacher, by Ms. Robinson. And this, te this student needs to open this notebook up so that he can work in his class notebook. So he's going to click on this notebook. And it's initially going to open up into the online version of the OneNote notebook. However, to use the full features of OneNote, like the stylus and all the other writing tools, we need to launch this from the online version into the desktop version. So we're going to click on Open in OneNote. This is only something that needs to be done once on that particular tablet or that particular computer. The next time you try to open up your notebook, you won't have to log in this way. Now you may get some pop-ups asking you how you want to open this. You may get a warning sign that says, should I allow this a document to open, you will click yes or you will click allow. In this case here, it's asking me what application do I want to use to open up OneNote. If you get another pop-up that looks similar to this but has three different options, it says OneNote, OneNote 2013, or another application, you must choose the second one that says OneNote 2013 or OneNote Desktop. If it just says OneNote, that is an app and that is not going to work in our case. So Microsoft OneNote here, in my case, is the correct one. So I'm going to click OK. And you may be prompted to put in your username and password again in order to access this particular notebook. When a student opens their notebook for the first time, they're going to see usually this welcome page. And then they're going to see three different parts of their notebook. Collaboration space, the content library, and then their own personal notebook. The content library is an important piece because this is where the teacher is going to put all the documents that they would normally hand out in paper format in a digital format. So for example, in this math notebook, if we go over to the content library, we can see over here there's a section that says math homework, and it has a document in here that the students may need to grab and put into their own notebook to use. I'm going to click back on this little green arrow over here, which is our navigation tool, and then I'm going to click on My Notebook. My notebook has five different sections that my teacher has created for me. So what the students generally do in this case is they go over to the content library and find the document that a teacher has inserted that they want the students to work on. So let's say, for example, the teacher tells the student, go into the math homework section in the content library, and I want you to get the graphing 7.1 document and put it into your own notebook. The content library is read-only, which means the students can't do anything to the documents in here. It's sort of like student share in that you can give students access to documents in student share, but they can't make any changes to it until they save a copy of it for themselves. In the same manner, the content library works in a very similar way. Students can't do anything to any of the documents in content library unless they pull a copy over into their own notebook. So this is what our students do. They come over to the page that they need to grab, and they right-click it, or they use their mouse or their finger, and they hold on. I'm using my finger, and I'm pressing down on this graphing, and then I let go, and I get an option that says Move or Copy. When I select Move or Copy, it asks me where do I want to put it. So right here, Math 7, this is the notebook that I'm in. And what I need to do is I need to look in Math 7, and I'm going to find my name, and I'm going to click the plus sign, and now you will tell your students which section of their notebook do you want them to put it in. So I'm going to put this in my class notes, and then I'm going to copy it. So now I should have a copy in my own personal notebook. However, 
The student always has to pay attention. Once they have copied it over, they're not still automatically in their own notebook. We are still living here in the content library. So this green arrow, again, your navigation tool, allows me to come back over to my home page. Now I can go into my personal notebook. I can go into class notes, which is where I copied it to. And you'll see over here, on the, below this blank page, I have the pages that I added. And now, because it is in my notebook, I can make changes to it, and I can write on it either by typing inside here, or I can use the drawing tools or the stylus tools, and I can write directly in here. I can use highlighting tools, etc. So the key component for students to learn is A, how to access their notebook for the first time, B, how to launch their notebook correctly, and then how to move documents from the content library to their own personal notebook. And just so you are aware, if we are done with this notebook and we need to come back to it the next day, if I am working on the same device, the same tablet, or the same computer, I don't have to log into Office 365 again to access the notebook. What I simply do, I'm going to close everything so you can see, is the next time I log into my tablet, I just need to look for OneNote 2013 and it will automatically open up to the last notebook and even the last page that I was working on. And because this was created in Office 365 and is stored and created in the cloud, this will continually sync so there is no saving necessary. And that's pretty much it in terms of how a student would use OneNote Class Notebook.